rub a dub, rub a dub, not for profit, not for gain. Rub a dub, rub a dub, night and day, sunshine and rain. Starch and soap and rinse and ring, we'd make heaven a bright, clean thing. Happiness is like a bubble. It simply isn't worth our trouble. Rub a dub, rub a dub. When the sky is gray above, it really is a work of love. So let go of she ichar sheba lila terti ereva erti uto avuto. Jari's got the generals. Ah, Sadia is forever. Baby, Sapper is Bushlia. Trinity, 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 Shreba. Hold on, Sipa, Lucia. Sipa, Lucia. Sipa, Lucia. Hold on, Sipa, Lucia. We work for one, we work for all. Everybody, great or small, policeman, soldier, doctor too, chemist, barber, even you. Student, merchant, family man, clean them up as best we can. best cure. No other medicine can do more. Cleanliness and hygiene both are more than the Hippocratic Oath. So all hail to cleanliness and those whose clothes are neatly pressed. Clean and bright, you're an angel of light. With a neat negligee, you're worth what they pay.
Dirty clothes mean misery. When they're clean, a man feels free. But when the soul has got a stain, washing won't take it out again. dance I'm going to see? The quadrille. Maro was walking <laughs> through the keyhole when the rich people were dancing. And our dear mother always said she'd like us to be dancers. <laughs> you are dancers. A spot of makeup and you'll be the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Vardo, this is the day that uh -huh. the dancing class opens. And Papa said that he'd pay to send us there if they think we're talented. The professor's an Italian. He's called Innocenti. Tamro and I learned this dance, and it's just the way they dance it in his country. So come on, yeah, watch us now. Bam, 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 there. Oh, they're lovely. And whose are they, Aunt Varda? Oh, you're not to ask any questions. <laughs> All you have to do is to look after them carefully. They're to wear when you go to dance at your audition. <laughs> <laughs> Umarjos It's so hard to get away when the wine is flowing free. All for one and one for all. And drink a toast to you and me. Chikahuino vir chevniai asitumnis konevas. Argalsem chavasa harpgatsa. Argaevitsos mzinare. Arzinis hitze gamibeli. Tugin zamivos mdinare. The first glass of wine to cure your troubles will only cost 10,000 rubles. But ever since the world began, I always hated a miserly man. <laughs> 
شیکشه بابم او قدر تسا سخواشی خناو داز غواشی و تسا سخواشی موم کی سر چوش چه مسا هر میخواست سر هر میخواست رسی هر بیت بیاری هشم جامی بیسپور سرا تو بیت به بودم شیاری Sveta Kriste buro sange lazi žabot, co bi ani na nos hadli ani haros. Kao malčo spavne sa, da ishav sta dale sa. Pretty good, but I bet he can't saw a lady in half. I should hope not. My darlings, Maro, Tamro. Have you forgotten that today's our dance what? audition? And who may these be? Who are these <laughs> lovely young ladies then? <laughs> you like us? Auntie Varro says we're as pretty as the Tsar's daughters. <laughs> Don't be silly, you're much prettier. <laughs> 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 Where are you going, Pablo? <laughs> Don't go running away like that now. Have another one for the road. Here's to you, Pablo. <laughs> I can't. Those two little butterflies are here to take me home again. <laughs> <laughs> And now make it just as I tell you. Oh, point, 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 point. That's nice. Mm. <laughs> Perfecto. Hmm. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> and now, cozy. Hmm. Cozy. And now try the gram, Batima. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, graziosi sono questi bambini. <laughs> your hands, your hands are there. No, no, there, 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 Straordinario, che bella posa. <laughs> assemblée, assemblée, changement, sauté. Assemblée, assemblée, changement, sauté. Viva! Alissa! Oh, very nice. <laughs> And your parents, darlings, your family. See, your family. <laughs> Papa, Papa, what are you waiting for? Come in. Come in, Papa. Stand there. Hurry. <laughs> hurry. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> <laughs> you are the father? <laughs> That's right. <sighs> you tell me these charming, talented creatures are yours? Yes, sir, I'm the father, their mother's dead. They really love dancing. <laughs> yeah, they love it. Yes, that's obvious. It's most apparent. Uh, Only see. these classes of ours cost money. Eh. See? A eh, eh, lot of money. Eh, courses in ballet, you understand, Aram? Um, mm, uh, 50 rubles. You see, 50 rubles. And that's a minimum. Uh. <gasps> Please excuse me. I was mistaken. That's not a lot of money. Uh, but, 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 but it could well, be um, we with great pleasure. Uh, their number. Uh, see, you uh, see. Mm. What did all that mean? The higher you go up the ladder, the farther there is to fall. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Auntie Varda. Well, tell me, my little puppets. Did the professor like the two of you? He was nice, Auntie Varda. He said that he liked the Kudur number. He was delighted with us, but... But, my dears? We dance very nicely for him, but it's so expensive. Papa could never pay it, because it costs more money for those ballet lessons than he can make in five years. Wait a second. How much is it going to cost? It will cost 50 rubles. That's more than I've ever seen in my life. You've got to be joking. So, since you don't have any money, you just don't get to dancing school. Right, Rada. Right, hmm. Only ballerinas can still make their beds. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, ballerinas can still wash the dishes <laughs> and can clean up the house, can't they? <laughs> <laughs> Here, ah. and this for you. Let's get going. Ah. <laughs> Where's your father? Oh, Papa, well, since he drove us home from the audition in town, I'm afraid he simply disappeared. <laughs> Here, there, and everywhere. Nothing but trouble, sorrow, and care.
Yesterday's sorrow is the same tomorrow. Why can't the day hide it away? Dreams are lies. Where is a man who will heal our wounds and understand? What's going on here? And why aren't you at the landowners? I'm not going back to that place again. What are you saying, Maro? You're out of your mind. I tell you, I'd rather be dead than work there. And all that wood that I'm supposed to carry around is just too heavy. What's that? He makes you carry wood? Huh? Last night, we brought him some wood from the country and unloaded it by the fence. When Georg Jorgoff saw it, he was hopping mad, and he said, even if you have to work all night, you'll put it all into my mansion. It was too heavy, and I was tired. I only moved half of it. So I gave up, and I ran back here. Yes, Fardo. Whatever we try, we just don't get anywhere. Every hand's against us, even the hand of God. Mm. Don't blame the almighty, Pavler. <clears throat> he looks down and smiles, even on poor people like we are. <laughs> and why should a man with two daughters like yours complain? One of these days, they may perform in front of the Tsar himself, hmm? Ah. Moon in the sky, so cold and serene. What do you know of the state I'm in? Egeri 
Look the other way. Don't think badly of me. I'm going to do something you mustn't see. What a father, bringing wood. Saw it up and saw it good. Thank you. 
cut oak and elm and pine and nut into quarters into sticks into five and into six <laughs> Saw and chop and chop and split. That's the way to go at it. What a father, what a dad. Honestly, he's not so bad. Always welcome. <laughs> well, this is a nice surprise, isn't it? What little breeze blew you in? <laughs> Not a nil wind, that's plain to see. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's this? <laughs> what? 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 what, what? <laughs> Where did you get that? <laughs> At the butcher's. Mm -hmm. You mean it? Absolutely. Oh. I opened the shop door and I looked in, uh -huh. and old man Mahakas uh, was uh -huh. asleep, so I took it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You mustn't get so excited, Pankas. It would never do to wake up the whole street. Oh, Vardo, Vardo, what a woman you are. <laughs> and I never realized it before. <laughs> well, well, Vardo, and I thought your only talent was for washing clothes. <laughs> uh, how much do I owe you? Mm. I want a fair price, Pankas, not peanuts. Uh, now, who would dream of offering you peanuts? I'm feeling generous, two rubles. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? I'm taking it back to the butcher. Take your hands off that. Well, all then. All right, all right. I'll add a couple of kopecks. Five rubles. But that's highway robbery. I've been buying stolen goods for the last 20 years, and it's the very first time I've been asked that much. What, five rubles? If I were to add five rubles to the five you're asking for, I could go and buy a fur coat for when I go out into the mountains on personal business. Any special kind of coat? Mm, something that's good quality. You can get one for as little as 10 or 20 rubles. Hmm. Now, Georg Yorko's got one <laughs> worth about 50 rubles. 50 rubles and no argument? Yes. My, my dear mother, now departed from this hard world. Hmm. All right. Hmm. That's good enough for me. Oh, uh, but what about this, hmm? 
Oh, it's robbery. But I'll give you three rubles, after all. You didn't have to buy it, so you're not losing on the deal. Mm -hmm. Now look, Pankus, I told you five rubles or it's no Don't deal. Don't touch that! <sighs> you're insane. Five rubles. Five rubles. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> cutting my throat. Talking of cutting, hand me that knife, will you? Knife? What do you want a knife for? <laughs> Listen, Pankus, you're a religious man. So you shouldn't forget that uh, when you buy stolen goods, you should give the poor something. Just a little piece here will be enough. I'll look in at the church in the way, and uh, I'll leave it there as an offering to the poor. Pankus's little contribution to charity. What? It could be the kind of sacrifice that may help save your soul from the devil. <laughs> well, thanks for your cooperation. <laughs> ah, I feel better already! <laughs> Who'll believe in Pankus giving? Giving to the poor to keep them living. Don't worry, sweetheart, if I'm untrue. I buy and sell as rich men do. Sweet, he's brought us a joint of meat. Roast it well and serve it hot, it's better than a rich man's got. What's going on here? You behave. I can see you there, Zebo. So come on out. <laughs> yes. My nose is frozen almost solid. It'll fall off if I sneeze. What terrible weather. Well, I was standing there and I was wondering if I couldn't warm up in your house, but I thought you were asleep. And then you, you came. You weasel. I've been spying around again, huh? Now, wait a minute. Where are you going? Hey. Yeah. Pablo, the police chief has put me on the payroll, and it's my duty to help keep the peace around here. How about that? So what's that have to do with me? Uh, 
<sighs> Such a nice smell. <laughs> so you see, Pavla, my job is to find out what's cooking here. It smells like meat. It's a hair. With nice long ears? And just how did you come by this hair? I took the pot, huh? I opened the lid, and the hair jumped in. <gasps> Dreams come true. That hair's a treat. Salts himself, peppers himself, ready to eat. Proud of the uniform we bear, serving with ardor and with zeal, we're the guardians of the law. All for the sake of a decent meal. Innocent and guilty too, arresting them, arresting you, equal rights are law's decision, equal rights to go to prison. <laughs> to report, Chief, that during the course of last night, with reference to our presence, there is nothing to report. Mm -hmm. I hope it's fresh, sir. Mm -hmm. How about the local labor force? Have you heard anything from Zebo? Is the big revolution on the way yet? Don't worry, all quiet in that sector. Thank heaven it is. Ah. Ah, good. All right, take it out. Well? Uh, someone stole an entire side of veal at the butcher's. Has it been found? Uh, no, I'm afraid it's already been eaten. <laughs> <laughs> well, the big landowner, Jor Jorkov, was robbed of a large quantity of wood. I can understand pinching meat. That makes a kind of sense. But a truckload of wood? An entire truckload to fill a sack or two. <laughs> what can we do, sir? The wood is enough to drive anyone crazy. They take it out on their back in trucks on donkeys anyhow. How can we tell if it's stolen property? Excuse me, Chief. Nihaka, the butcher, would like to see you. Send him in here. Come on. <laughs> Good day, Your Honor. Your Honor, I bought a cat for five rubles yesterday. I cleaned it, and I gutted it, and I hung it up on a hook. And how did it get stolen? If I knew that, I, I'd know who it was that stole it. And where did someone steal this alleged calf from you? I already told you, in my shop. And Listen. where were you? Oh, right there, sir. I always sleep behind the counter. Sleeping, huh? Ah, uh, sleep! Now, and was there anybody there with you? The delivery boy? Well, he'd been there, but I'd sent him out on an errand. But somebody stole my meat. That's enough of that. But it was worth five rubles. What it's worth is quite immaterial. You heard the chief. You better stop bothering him with details. But I can't help it. I keep thinking about it all you the time. You were asleep, weren't you? Yes. Mm. Then you've only yourself to blame. But he's But right. I was robbed. Don't bother the chief. He has much more important things on his mind than your meat. Well. That meat was very important to me, sir. 
And somebody stole my meat. I prepared Silence. it and I got it and I hung it up on a hook. It's clear. You kill the animal, gut the animal, and then hang it up. After that, you probably ate it and you run over here and accuse someone of theft. I'm not an idiot, you know. I know the trick you're trying to play on us. Miscreant bloodsucker, a stain on the name of our fair town. Take him out and charge him. Yes. Ah, uh, this is an absolute scandal. I insist on my right. Oh, so do you mean you would question my authority? Try to stay calm, sir. Throw him in, into the hole. One or two days down there, I'll fix him. <laughs> You can't do this to me. I'm an honest man. I bought a cow. I cleaned it. I got it. And I, I hung it up on a hook, I tell you. Get in there. Ah! <laughs> I, down below? <laughs> Deep down. <laughs> so how much? Five. It's not enough. Oh, well, he didn't have any more cash on him, and he's nearly screaming the place down. We'll take the money and release him. I already did. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Chief. Here, Chief. <laughs> One second, Chief. There you are, Chief. <sighs> Law and order made to order. A gold piece here, and the case is clear. Tam na siami stać randę, tu mam ciwar smów spod kadrę. Raz i dwa i trzy, zwinda ni romana bar, albo skarga cudemi. Remember, if you've money to spare, even a policeman needs a share. Pan pan kotac kamasot, harzumot kure. Si dat sot sat zgalato, sam sat zvigat nevit, vigat maglam ne svatle, ko varia svevit. La 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 la, ko varia svevit. Matla savarat sudi, kurdi pustu kvi kops. Nu ik neva ogon tu bunti, nu ik neva ogon tu bunti, nu ik neva. Troubles here and troubles there, revolutions in the air. And one thing I don't want to see is trouble in this district run by me. <laughs> bravo, bravo. You really have the Midas touch, Chief. <laughs> My respects to you, gentlemen. May I help you? I came here to bother you about a question of some wood. I dropped in to see you yesterday, but apparently you were out celebrating. <clears throat> and what's your name? Ah, so you don't know what my name is. Well, that's something I would hardly have believed. It is our duty to put the correct name on our reports. So what is your correct name? Put down. Yurk Yurkov. Profession. <laughs> A workman, as you can see. Don't be insolent. Well, if you know, why do you ask? Uh, he's the proprietor of an establishment. Many, not one. Very many. I think there was something about some wood that's been stolen. Where was it stolen? In the garden, next to the fence. The garden? Only might it not have been on the road, outside? In the garden. On my property. I told my servant to bring it into the house, and she left it outside, so I'm here to put in an official demand for compensation from her parents. And what reason do you have for claiming compensation from the parents of this unfortunate girl? Do you suspect her? I must make it clear that I didn't catch her red-handed, but the robbery wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for her. So I think her parents owe me some compensation. All right, we will see to it. I'll have them watched carefully. I'll study the relevant factors of the case and keep you informed. Latest news, it's not so good. Somebody's been stealing wood. If the thief doesn't get away, there'll be an execution day. <laughs>
Vida de Sachê chamou o Maria, Pere Suba chamou o Maria. Tudo aí te resposta. Would you believe such goings on? The latest news I have to tell. The butcher has been robbed as well. Someone's taken a fur coat. So, that's three crimes now, in a row. <laughs> The thief is clever in this case, leaving neither clue nor trace. The police chief has no way of knowing whether he's coming or whether he's going. A coat, a calf, and half a tree. Where the devil can they be? Gagonila. Ragopila. What do you want? Well, you see, the man who runs classes, the Italian. I run the classes. What can I do you for? You see, sir, two little girls auditioned for you. The other day, their father's a carter. 
You know, the one who carries a riding crop? A whip. That's it. Ah, si, si, si. Yes, yes, yes. I remember. Si. And so? The little girls danced beautifully, isn't that a fact? Mm. Uh, yes, I've rarely Gentle. seen better. We also said as much Gentle. to the man, only a... Well. Yes, 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 I know. I brought it along. Here's the money you required. Oh. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. <laughs> Grazie. <clears throat> <clears throat> Most satisfactory. Uh, and who are you? Are you a relationship? <laughs> I mean, your relative. Oh, no. Not really. Oh, senor, I beg you not to tell anyone that I paid you. <laughs> Madame Incognito. <laughs> Bravo. Excuse me. Caramazza. Yes, sir. That's enough. Private property. There's no need to exceed your duty. Keep it short. <laughs> Daddy's angry. <laughs> Come on, children. Yes. Yes. Catamards in? Yes, sir. The roof. Ladder. Good. Hold this. We shall see what we shall see. As I explained to you already, Chief Constable, the only way to get into my house is through the main entrance right there. Why, a fly couldn't get in elsewhere, let alone a full-grown My man. good sir. We shall have your house watched closely, and we will get to the bottom of this. We are experts in these matters. Of course, of course, of course. No one doubts that you will do everything you can to settle this case. Only listen to me. I would like to make a suggestion to you. Why not let your men search through Pavla's house? Because the keys to my house here were were in the hands of his daughter, Maro. <laughs> so it appears, if I understand right. That all I need to do is search the entire district, every street in the neighborhood, and all for a single fur coat, admittedly valuable, and for a cartload of wood. Now, is that reasonable? Tell me, do you recall who came here yesterday? To my house? Yes. Other than the laundress Vardo, no one. No, no one else was here. Vardo. <laughs> Vardo. <clears throat> Why, that's ridiculous. Vardo's the soul of honesty. And she's such a good hard worker. I'm prepared to take a bet that two men on a washboard couldn't wash faster than Vardo. No, no. Such a version of the affair is to be discounted. Mere nonsense! Excuse me, sir. The local citizens want to send the bloodhound. See to it. See to it. Oh, get him, boy. <laughs> That's not evidence. Quiet, peasants. Ah, God bless you, Your Honor. Well, what is it? My respects, Your Grace. Anything new on the troublemakers? Report, please. I'm perfectly calm on the labor front these days. I'm keeping that under observation. But about the... about what happened yesterday, that cuff and that cartload of wood. Well, anyone can see that you're worried. Hm? I am looking into that question. Uh, one second. Uh, one second! I know it's not my business, sir, but I want to go up in the world and, you know... With epaulets, gold braid, well, hat, and all the trimmings, but of course, him. only if you see fit to promote me. You so. understand? Oh, I promise you that I'll go on providing my usual mm -hmm. service just mm -hmm. as before. I'll consider it. So what have you got to tell us? Uh, may I sit down? 
Now, from what I'm given to understand, this log here is one of the cartloads stolen from the landowner. Yes, he's right. Where'd you find it? Ah, the Lord's my witness, sir. We're all poor sinners. If I hadn't watched it with my very own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. But I had no choice in the matter. If the devil tries, he can lead me into evil ways. Leave that alone. He'll say he found the wood at the church door next, right? You're right, sir. You have it at the front door. I swear, Your Grace, that's where I found it. Who put it there? Pavla. Pavla the Carter. How about the fur coat? Fur coat? No. No fur coat. Hmm. Uh, the wood, uh, the rest, yes, is at his house. And there was a very pleasant odor around there. <sighs> like cooked meat. Buongiorno! <laughs> My dear sir, it's a pleasure to inform you si. that you two talented demoiselles can attend ballet classes at our school. Si, si, è vero. Tutto che dici la signorina è vero. Assolutamente. That's a dice, no? Mm -hmm. Grazie. Grazie. <laughs> But I can afford lessons. <laughs> Please do not worry about money. You are a lucky man. <laughs> it's true. But I must keep this secreto. You have an angel watching over you with wings. Why, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hold oh, up. Okay. You're under arrest. What is the meaning of this behavior? I will complain to my embassy. <laughs> Begging to report, sir, the operation has been successfully concluded. The Carter Pavla, with his entire band, has been arrested, sir. I will go. Io protesto! Io protesto! Search them? Yes, sir. You cannot do this to me! I demand to see mio avvocato! Turn around. You garbagey black. <laughs> Stop it, Dickling. You're hurting my dancing foot. <laughs> what are you doing now? Oh, good. Eureka, yeah, that's my money. There's just 50 rubles. Wait a minute, girl. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> And this young woman. Uh, I had better search this charming lady personally. Uh, <laughs> all right, you scalawag. The time has come. Talk about that stolen meat and that wood, etc., etc., etc. So help me, I never stole anything in my life. Lying, that's obvious. <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you. There wouldn't be any point. The other day when I woke up, I saw it had been snowing. A fire was burning under the pot, and outside the house, on my car, I saw a lovely big pile of wood. And that's not all. Yesterday morning, when I woke up, there's another fire under the pot, and a big piece of meat cooking. <laughs> and today he awakened to the fur coat, I suppose. <laughs> no, nothing like that. I give you my word. <laughs> Generous of you. Down below. A day or two in the special suite, and you'll be in the mood... To talk as never before. Out! Out! What did I do? What, what did I do? Where did you get those 50 rubles? Well, 
Well, at least 50 rubles. They were presented by an incognito woman who refused to give us her name. She <laughs> gave it to us so that we could give some ballet lessons to the daughters of the man that you have just taken away to your deepest dungeon. The fee for our classes in ballet is exactly the sum of 50 rubles. <laughs> now, what could be more obvious? <laughs> I shall therefore arrest you too. And then tomorrow you will tell us just how that other blackguard there disposed of the coat and gave you the 50 rubles in your pocket. Out! What? You are exceeding your authority. There will be an Italian warship on a Volga for this. I'm telling you. <laughs> and how about my wife? What are you doing to her? I already told you. I will attend to this charming lady personally. How dare you? This is immoral. Oh, por camarona. Oh, por camarona. <laughs> Cara mia, Lisa. <laughs> <gasps> What's the matter? Papa's been arrested on Papa's at the police station, Auntie Vardo. You wait here. <laughs> I think that should satisfy you. Of course. I am much more than merely satisfied. <laughs> I willingly admit that I am favorably impressed. <laughs> and I will never forgive myself for doubting your ability, which should be proclaimed from every rooftop in the city. <laughs> Let Thank me go! You can't go in Take there! Take the hands off of me! <laughs> Vardo, is anything the matter? Well, I really don't know how to reply. You're such an important man around here. I don't know why you'd want to listen to me. You can always try. Anything you say to me is worth its weight in gold. Oh, Sit absolutely. down, please. Believe me, sir. Poor old Pavla never stole anything. You have arrested the wrong man. <laughs> That's only your innocent mind at work, Vardo, because you lead an honest life and never steal. You believe others are the same, only you're wrong. All of them are thieves, all of them. You're wrong. I'm the one who stole. Don't you understand? Old Mahaka's animal, and the wood and the coat at Georg Yorkov, all that I'm responsible for. Those are words, Vardo. I've got to have proof. What kind of proof? Ask Boris, the watchman, who it was he saw that night, driving the wagon the night when that big load of wood disappeared. Why not call Mahaka in here? He'll be able to explain who came into his shop, Vardo or Pavla. And you can try to find out who came to the ballet school and gave the maestro 50 rubles to pay the classes for the girls. Uh, excuse me, Chief. Uh, please allow me to bring in that professor. If this should be corroborated, I shall be forced to do something I don't want to do. Have you taken downstairs? I don't care. Hmm. All the miseries for the ordinary men. And all the pleasures for the fine gentlemen like that. They're the ones that get everything dry wood, warm fur coats. Some even get to dancing classes. Hmm. Basta! Sal monstre! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to see both of you. You recognize me? I was wearing a big hat, remember? Ah! Precious Madame Incognito. Uh -huh. <laughs> I did tell you it was an unknown lady who brought the money. Control yourself. Disbeliever. Silence. See? There you are. That's how it was. Arrest me and release an innocent man whose children are crying their hearts out for him. Go on, arrest me. They'll get someone else to help them through life. <laughs> Do I arrest her, Chief? No other way. She asked for it. Hmm. Would you sell my fur coat too? <laughs> I'll leave you to find that out by yourself. Just find out who buys stolen property in this district and you'll find your coat. Come on. This way. What are you doing here, Vardo? <laughs> Don't let's talk about it. As the saying goes, heaven helps those who help themselves, and I help myself. 
the fur coat and the meat and the wood? It was you? I thought I'd help the children because it wasn't fair that they couldn't have what they wanted so much. If you build happiness on a lie, you have to pay the price when your dreams die. Well, that's what I call a real woman. You're lucky to take care of you. She loves you, you lousy scarecrow. Scat! Scat! man be doing with a fur coat. <laughs> what? What? What's that? Sounds like a parrot. Oh. Karamadze? Yes, sir. And how about this, huh? Who was it that gave this money to Vardy? How should I know, Inspector? I've never even seen that much money in a dream. This is not a dream. This is reality. Huh? <laughs> oh? <laughs> a real joke. <laughs> now listen. You've got three days grace. Only after that, his coat better be back, or else you'll get put down below and you'll pay for the coat three times over. And please tell me why I should be deprived of my fur coat for three more days. Now listen. Yes. I've turned the whole district back to front on account of you. And in order to oblige you, I've imprisoned an honest washerwoman, Vardo, Vardo. And you still have the gall to be complaining? That's enough. I wash my hands of this horrible business. Water. Bloodsucker. Morning, noon, and evening too, we've done the dirty clothes for you. We've had just about all we can take. So do your own now, till your backs break. Bardo's our friend, a girl of worth. There's not a better one on the earth. Why should she suffer? when all she did was think of the happiness of his kids.
Goodbye, starch. Goodbye, the tub. Goodbye, soap. No more rubber dub dub. I speak with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. With pleasure. Now, Mr. Police mm -hmm. Chief, sir, it may well be said that you put an end to stealing. <laughs> but a new misfortune has fallen upon us. Huh? There's not one clean shirt in the whole district. Mm. Shocking! Exactly. The situation is tragic. The fleas and everything. Believe me, I can think of only one solution. Yes? I suggest that if it's not too late already, you free the laundress Vardo. Vardo? As an expression of sympathy. All the washerwomen are on strike. The situation is critical. Today they're refusing to work. Only who knows what they'll do by tomorrow. <gasps> Revolution? Yes, I believe it could be. Revolution? It's very probable. Revolution? Mm. I... Well, you only have to look at Germany. It's right there. Germany. Paris also. Oh, my God. And look, Warsaw, oh, the Siberian gold mines. Aye, aye, aye. That's how it happens. There's a general strike. The workers go into the streets. They set up barricades. Oh, a nightmare. Oh. And moreover, oh, oh, oh. do you know what it is tomorrow? What? Tomorrow is Christmas. Well, can you imagine the situation that the upper classes are going to be oh, in, Chief? They are going to have to celebrate the great Christmas festival in an utterly unholy condition. Yeah, Lord man. bless us. Katamadze! Katamadze! Here, Chief, your shirt. It only took four hours. There. I'm sick and tired of this whole situation. Oh. <laughs> I can't stand it. I'm going to liberate Vardo. Do you really mean it? <clears throat> this is an order. Get down to the cells at once and liberate Vardo. Yes, sir. Forward! Hold. Come back. <laughs> the little girls. Oh, I... I forgot. Oh. Little girls? What little girls? Don't you understand? Pavla's daughters, Pavla's ballerinas. So? The dancing school, of course. See that they get lessons or we won't stand a chance. All right, only... Oh. Where do I get the money? Oh, the he money. wants 50 oh. rubles for lessons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 50 rubles? What are you waiting for? Go and tell that ballet master? that the girls are recommended by the police. He'll admit them to dancing classes, or I'll have him drummed out of town. Yes, sir. Forward! Yes, sir. It has been a pleasure.
Bravo. <laughs> home sweet home again. <laughs> <laughs> I pray for this. And now you're here. <laughs> Merry Christmas. The Christmas star has shone on us and smiled upon our sadness. And even though our table's poor, our hearts are full of gladness. Buongiorno. Alisa. Merci. We are come to bring you a Christmas present. We are glad to have the pleasure of announcing that we will admit you girls si. to our classes. Si. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> It's kind of you. And the cost? Money is not everything. Art is not always money. This town is full of people who dream and who want to make the dreams of others come true. They thought of the joy of your daughters. Yes. See. Si. Buon Natale. <laughs> <laughs>
collègues, signorine et signore. En autre guest, mesdames et messieurs. I'm happy to say to all of you today that our class in ballet is now underway. It's open to all, to short and to tall, to all who can fall to the spell of art's call. Honor and fame, both you await. Dancing is life, so don't hesitate. Demi plié. Et tu oublié. Tendu vêtement. Vêtement jeté. Vêtement fondu. Vêtement frappé. Tolka. Танцуя любви достигнешь ты надежды. A life of joy is a life of art. A lifelong love that will never part. Don't be sad. You'll be so proud when the crowds are cheering loud. Исполнится мечты. Родитель, не печалься, брать в долг, не смущайся. Как будет жить без танца, любимое дитя? Толстушка, ставший стройным. To the dazzling heights they'll dance away, but it's for Daddy that they dance today. Art is life, and dancing's joy. So dance now, every girl and boy.